Hi there Transform fans, this is Skidsman Flap 1313 bringing you another video review and this time I have for you the Transformers Prime 1st Edition uh, this is Deluxe Bumblebee so <clears throat> this is the cartoon version of Bumblebee uh, from the first, second and partially maybe the third series um, so he's in this sort of like muscle car sort of thing um, keeps the same design as the yellow and the black stripes. Um, you've got some translucent windows here which you can see some parts of the uh, vehicle mode inside. Like travels all the way around so that gives an all over nice feel to the uh, <coughs> the whole figure. As you can see there, there's the Autobot symbol there. Just so you can see that. Right there. Um, and it's got the translucent blue here. A um, bit of detailing of orange here, um, and an overall pretty uh, pretty accurate to be honest. Um, still got all the stripes coming down here, they're everywhere. Um, and underneath is pretty, well I say it's pretty, um, what's the word? Um, it's not all messy under here, you know, uh, it's, everything has its place and it all looks equal and everything like that. Now what you might notice is this thing. This thing might actually look quite similar to a certain, uh, a certain thing related to Bumblebee. As you can see that's actually his blaster um, and that's it stores using any two of the pegs here um, onto these two bits here and you just peg that on and it just stays on. It doesn't affect the rolling at all. It rolls pretty, uh, pretty securely with or without it. But we'll put that off to the side for now, <clears throat> and we'll concentrate on transforming this uh, figure. So, uh, the first thing you probably want to do is to do the feet. So come to the back, and just give it a little wiggle, and tab the sides as well. And you can split them if you want, that will help as well. And just sort of pull that out, and this will bring everything forward. Um, another thing you might want to do is actually pull this down. So pull the grey part down all the way. And then you could sort of just do that just for now, and that will allow you then to rotate all this up like so. <clears throat> Next thing is to rotate uh, this wheel part. You just want to like pull on it, and it'll sort of autumn off this thing. It sort of pushes it down. You can push it down if you want as well. Um, flick this out, and that gives you the foot. You can mess around with that so it looks a bit more foot like, um, so that's like that, do the same on this side as well, you can flip this out, that might help the transformation, um, make sure to push the glass, well plastic glass back, um, like that, and then you can place that on the floor like that, or whatever, oh god, whatever you're transforming it on, just so you've got, you know that it's going to stand up, so uh, you've got half a car leaning off, um, so next thing you want to do is you want to come up to the top and you want to just wiggle this and this will split. Pull these out to the side. Just be careful of the hands, just pull them out as much as they can go. Um, untap these little things from here, you don't want to damage them. So, and then with these windows, let me just do you a favour and put this up for a second like that. Okey so with the windows like that, just push them down. Both sides do that, so it gives you that clear wing of the of the car. As you can see, this is starting to split, so we're just going to give this a wiggle. Also push the middle up whilst wiggling it, and you'll uh, attach, sorry, detach the side parts like that. So you can just move that up so they're out of the way. Next thing is to come under here, grab the arms, and pull these down. And you'll t you want to take these these parts down with you. They'll follow. Um, so now you can pull these this these <laughs> this bit out and rotate that. And then you want to. This is quite clever. I quite like this. So you've got these nice silver wheels, and you can add the armor to the um, the thing by rotating on these hinges until. The arm will sort of go there, and then that peg will go into the hole. And then what's good is you can rotate this, so wherever the hand's going to be, you can sort of have it up like that. And then do the same on this side. So you just want to pull that out, rotate it, 
and then flick that up, peg that in, like that, put that out to the side, and then you can have him like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to move this whole thing up, then you want to rotate this part around, so you can rotate that. Um, it will articulate like that as well, which will come in handy on the other, uh, when you put it back down. So you want to rotate it again at that point, and then flick the whole thing down. Move this piece out of the way, and I'll just give you a bit of light. There's a peg here, and there's the slot there. You want to bring this whole thing down. Um, the sides of the cars might uh, hinder you slightly, just move them out of the way. Move that down. Keep moving it down until you've got enough room to sort of... You, oh, and it does have some sort of like ab crunch, I think that's what you call it, um, where the figure normally would be flat, so the the peg isn't that prominent, and then you can do that and the peg is out and you can, uh, you can uh, get to it and peg the figure in like that. Rotate the head and unpeg it if you want to again entirely up to you. Place that against that as well. So you've got that Autobot symbol there which is quite nice at what they've done. Um, so now on the sides here, I'm going to show you this one, um, there's this grey little hooky section and underneath, I can't show you as well but there's a slight little tab there. You probably might be able to see it but uh, you just need to make sure that they go together like that. It's not like a hundred percent, you know, you don't need to do it, but you can do it just to add a bit more stabilization to the whole figure. You can move the wings how you want, like I've just done. Uh, let's make him less monkey-like. and uh, You can rotate his arms um, on little ball joints as well. Uh, let me just do this one. Like so, there we go, his head likes to keep going down, there we go, and there you have, there you have Bumblebee in his robot mode, so let's just uh, put this down a little bit, so that there you can see Bumblebee as uh, his <clears throat> robots, and I have to say it is pretty accurate to the um, the cartoon uh, version of this figure. <clears throat> um, so you, what can you do? Uh, you can bring back this weapon. Now this can go on any side, but only thing I wish they did is if they gave you two of these, that would have been really, really good. But that will be for another review. Um, so anyway. Uh, you can get this and you can peg this onto the peg in here and then you can have his hand sort of up like that as if he's shooting and it's it looks pretty good pretty good like that so let's just uh, move his legs so we can look up a little bit and uh, I mean that's basically Bumblebee you know um, that is Bumblebee in his uh, whole thing. Backpack is not bad at all. You've just got that bit of glass which folds up nicely, um, and then the wings, which you can, you know, if you want, you can. They're on um, joints, so you can move them in and out. Sorry, you can move them in and out, um, and then fold them. You can fold them back on each other, so they sort of like, you know, do that. Um, you can do all his little um, stropping moments because I know, like. When he gets annoyed or something like that, his things go like up or they go like down like that, as if they're like ears. Um, <clears throat> but there we go, guys. So yeah, um, drunk bumblebee. Um, there we go. So I mean, I hope you enjoyed this review and um, make sure to comment if uh, you've got any sort of um, ways in which you've made this figure different or. Um, do you prefer the R.I.D. one? We will be getting onto the R.I.D. figure soon. Do you prefer the R.I.D. one? Uh, do you like this one? Do you think that, that these should have been more more used? You know, because this was only like a one a one thing thing, and it just went. 
Um, make sure to subscribe for more of these because I will be doing all the first editions and every Deluxe and Voyager from Transformers Prime. And I will see you in the next episode for more of these. So thanks for watching and goodbye.